Hello to our dear friends and our beautiful souls watching a new episode of Positive Living. As human beings, it is in our nature to have ideas pop up in our minds. And sometimes those ideas are more evil. They may cause harms onto others. And for a moment there, you might catch yourself thinking, am I an evil person for having these evil thoughts? I've wondered that once. But in reality, I find it healthy to indulge in these evil thoughts. Think them out entirely. Get to better understand yourself. And know that in the end of the day, there is a decision, an action, that separates a thought from manifesting into reality. And that is where your control lies. And with that control, a more positive life. Hello everyone, we are back again. Uh, I hope you are good. We are going to talk today about uh, a very interesting subject, which is the threads. Threads, all of you have also known about the threads and you have seen in the Instagram and social media about the threads. Uh, a lot of doctors are putting videos about uh, how to put the threads, how it's effective, but no one uh, has ever described the different types of the threads. The threads are, uh, have uh, different types. Uh, they are absorbable or non-absorbable. What is the meaning of absorbable and non-absorbable? Absorbable, that means that the body gets rid of them after about a period from six to eight months. And non-absorbable, that they are uh, stay, they, are, they stay, uh, in the tissues for good, for a long period, maybe years. So uh, what, is the, what is the difference and uh, is it good to stay or is it good to be absorbable? You have to know that the threads we, have, we are using are the same threads that we are using uh, when we do surgery. When you do some uh, uh, surgery in the abdomen, surgery in the face, surgery in any area of the body, we are using the stitching threads, and these are the same threads, the BDO. These are the absorbable threads. After a while, it can go. And also the non-absorbable, we are using it like the proline or whatever, they stayed inside the body and they don't do any harm. But, uh, if we are using the non-absorbable threads inside our body, it's, there are no problem, problems. But if we are using it inside the face, here it, sh it, it needs a very uh, good experienced doctor to use them. It can give you a very much longer uh, efficacy and results, but maybe it will annoy the patient and maybe he will be afraid from it. So, we are using the absorbable threads. They are very safe, they are very natural, the patient doesn't feel them, and if he doesn't like the, the results, we can use them again. It doesn't need any stitches, it doesn't need need any opening, so it's very easy, very safe, and it has uh, limited results about one to one and a half year. And you can put more if you want after. Uh, these absorbable threads uh, have also a lot of different types. Uh, they have hooks like hooks that will be fixed in the tissues and it can elevate it up by the face. It can we, some patients or some doctors are using it for breasts, for arms, for abdomen for thighs, for some, for all different areas of the body, but it's the, the most uh, important uh, using or the important uses are in the face. So, uh, in the face, the threads, uh, the absorbable threads are very safe, very uh, common, and it has a very good uh, results after, uh, for, for about, one and a half year. 
Uh, I hope that uh, my, uh, what I've said was useful. I'll see you after uh, a while. See you soon. Ciao. Welcome back. Uh, we will continue talking about the threads, ab uh, absorbable threads. Some of the patients are coming to me and they are saying that they have heard from other doctors that the threads can cause fibrosis and it will do a lot of problems in the face. But what I have said before that uh, they are very uh, safe because we are using them in a lot of surgeries. So don't be afraid of the fibrosis. Anything that you put inside your body can cause fibrosis because the fibrosis is the first defensive mechanism. The body reacts to anything inside, even Botox, even fillers, even, even mesotherapy, uh, to these materials by fibrosis. So don't worry about fibrosis, it's normal. This is how the threads get absorbed after by fibrosis. So don't worry about fibrosis. The th second thing is, the patients come to me and say, what are the options? Uh, do I do threads, filler, or Botox? We have to know that threads can replace both fillers and Botox in some certain patients. So, how? Threads, when you elevate the redundant skin, if you have a lot of redundant skin in the face, and you elevate it uh, to, to the upper, uh, face it will make like cheeks it will make more cheeks on your face because the redundant skin will go up and it will be like cheeks so without putting any uh, fillers you have cheeks and even though also some of the threads uh, has um, a filling effect we can put it in the lines fine lines inside uh, on the neck uh, fine lines and the uh, nasolabial, it will fill this area without fillers. Some threads can do action like Botox, it can elevate the eyebrows. So threads is very safe, can replace filler and Botox in some areas. Combination of treatment can give you a very good result and get you back a lot of years of, uh, the, of your face please consider to go to a trained doctor uh, who has an experience and type and the, uh, uh, how to use the threads. Um, threads are very safe, again, I'm talking about in, in the uh, right way. Uh, see you soon in the next episode. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs>